Thank you for tuning in. I'm Erin and you're watching Hubby Tips. This will be the last of the Converting Monopose Death Guard videos for now. If you want me to make more, just uh, let me know below this or any of the other episodes and I will put my mind towards coming up with, uh, with more conversions like those within the, the boundaries that in these days are Death Guard slash Nurgle Demons because uh, I want to get uh, Mother Nurgle's army uh, to a playable state as fast as possible. Anyhow, this uh, final conversion, we're using the plasma gun guy slash builder guy. I've taken uh, the cloak without chainmail and the chest with chainmail just to mix things up a bit. For a head, <clears throat> we're using this uh, Pretty normal Death Guard hat from the easy to assemble guys. I've cut off the little pack that uh, makes it stay in there. I'm using the boulder arm. Um, and the backpack I believe is taken from the champion. And finally, for his weapon, we're going to use a sensor from uh, the Skaven Plague Monk kit. But you could also just um, vandalize the Noxious Blightbringer, and he has, uh, I believe, four of these hanging. So if you uh, if you have one of those, you'll be you'll have bits for days when it comes to making um, flails of contagion. I think it's called. <clears throat> other than that, of course, uh, or not of course, but other than that, I will be using a bit of the two millimeter plastic uh, rod, uh, and once again, that can be replaced with pretty much anything you have around in your hobby shop. So, first things first, we're going to get him together. Um, just the body this time around, so uh, these two parts. Um, and yeah, even the backpack will wait with till we've posted the arms, I think. No, 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 no we won't. We'll add the backpack as well, right away. And once that is dry, we'll uh, start looking at the arms. So, for this arm, we're going to want to place that in a raised angle um, to give a more action-packed pose. And uh, therefore, this spike will look really, really silly, pointing downwards. It will not do at all. So off we could take it and that is a really neat little bit to save, either as a knife or a spike. And then we just clean up uh, because the face in itself uh, looks okay and it really doesn't need that horn to be an ugly shoulder pad, I think. And for the other arm, we'll first of all need to remove the bolter without damaging the hand, of course. So, like we did with the, the last one, just carefully cut in from both sides and then finally break it off. There we go. Took a bit too much off here, but uh, I'm sure we'll find somewhere to use it anyway. Um. There we go. And this bike is, while it's cool enough, it is very, very recognizable, and we want the different marines to actually look different so we'll simply cut it down quite a bit to make it uh, a single smaller spike rather than this huge thing it is now like that 
then this arm is not very poseable, so we'll glue that one in and then work his pose in around that. As for this one, we'll simply take off the arm as we're going to use the hand. And we'll also remove this little uh, nub at the bottom of the weapon, but uh, keep that around because we'll want to add that in the end to, uh, to his flail. And find the sensor, the center of the sensor. Drill the pilot hole. And then expand to the two millimeter. And just as with the others, keep an eye out for when the plastic starts to turn white, it typically means you're uh, just about to break something that you don't want to break. <laughs> this should be deep enough. Then we'll just round out this little breakage because that means we can uh, have much more freedom in how we want to place the hand. And then we'll attach this to the plastic rod. Because once again, cutting down the length is much easier than adding to it, obviously. And now we can actually start to imagine the angle we want him to hold the weapon in. So, taking this arm. This, I think. Looks pretty decent. That should give a nice dynamic I'm swinging a flail at your face pose. But before we dare getting into uh, drilling out, the next bit, I want the glue to be completely dry. To make sure we get the angle right, I'm gonna first make a pilot hole like this. And be advised that because this hand is glued into the torso, um, it might rip loose when drilling if you're not careful. Um, because the motion of the drill will uh, will push the hand away from uh, from the breastplate. So keep a finger over that to, uh, to help it out, so to say. There. And then I've taken the drill and the, the small drill all the way out so that I can uh, make sure I get the ankle and tend to get. And that was the pushing away I was talking about. So, firm grip and drill. And I'll uh, do that off camera because I need to monitor it carefully so that we don't lose fingers on the model, that is. Now we're ready to add the very, very long stick. No glue yet because we wanna take a moment to make sure we post it right. Well, that looks pretty much like what I was going for, so I'll glue in this hand and then add some glue. Whoop. 
here. And then just carefully start to position it. Next we're going to add the pommel that we put aside earlier to uh, the button of the flail. And here we have them. I'm really happy with them. I think he looks totally badass and I can't wait to uh, get him painted. Also, I look forward to get my hands on the multi-part uh, Death Guard uh, Plague Marine box set just to see how he uh, how he'll look next to uh, to the flail that comes in that box. And uh, if I don't like that, I'll probably just make another one uh, like this. Maybe using uh, some of all the other flails I have from the various fantasy kits I've picked up over the years. But anyhow, that was the fourth and for now final uh, converting Monopost Death Guard videos. As uh, I said in the beginning, let me know below if you want me to uh, come up with more of these. And uh, other than that, please remember to subscribe so you don't miss uh, all the many other Death Guard videos that are coming up over the coming uh, days. And if you're following um, any of my tutorials, be it Death Guard or anything else, I would love it if you could take some pictures of what you're doing and uh, send them to me either on uh, Facebook or uh, to the email uh, that'll show up in the credits in just a moment. And, uh, and if you do, I promise to uh, show off the pictures in an errand update and give you some, uh, some feedback and, uh, and stuff on it. And other than that, not much else to say than uh, click the link below if you want to throw some money at the, this channel. 100% of the money we get from Patreon will go straight back into the channel. And yeah, take care and uh, bye bye.